All right, YouTube. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> uh, it was never my intention to actually make this video. Uh, there's a user on Facebook, and he's having a little bit of difficulty fading an object in and out, and he's using the EV render engine. Now, there's several ways to achieve this, but I'll show you the method that I'm aware of. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the object, I'll quickly jump into the shading tab. Now let me just quickly join these areas together for you. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in a mixer shader. So I'll search for a mix shader. I'm going to plug that into the first. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a transparent BSDF. Now I'm using a principal BSDF as a material. So I'm going to plug this into the second shader. And I can now use the factor to kind of dissolve the object on and off. So I'll quickly jump back into layout. I'll go to the material settings. And you can see here I have a factor. Now, it's going to turn black. And the reason for this is the blend mode. So if I change the blend mode to an alpha blend, you can see that it's now transparent. But one thing you may notice is there's kind of polygons at the back. I need to disable show back face. And it, there we go. It works perfectly fine. Now one thing you can do here is you can move this up and down and easily dissolve an object in and out. But you're probably already noticing the problem here. You're having a shadow. How do we get rid of this? Now, if you go down to shadow mode, I suggest there's several things you can do this. But alpha hashed seems to work quite well. So when I move the factor up and down, it actually can kind of dissolve the shadow as a hash value. I can change this to alpha clip as well, but it's either on or off. So if you want this kind of in-between value, alpha hash is probably the best, but alpha clip works just as well. And that's pretty much how you fade an object in and out. Very simple. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It costs you absolutely nothing. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. Take care.